out with the old, in with the new. It's time for a versus challenge. The brand new Wilson Blade version nine is slightly better than the old one. We're gonna tell you why. This is without doubt the most popular racket in the world, the most used on the ATP and WTA Tour, the most searched on Google and on our website. Yeah, which is the most important place, of course. Exactly right. The Wilson Blade was first introduced all the way back with the N Blade in 2006. And since then, it has become renowned for its feel and its touch and its playability. Part of the reason it's so popular on the tour. It has been used by the who's who, veritable who's who of the of the tennis professional community. Serena Williams, Stefano Sitipas, uh, Emma Raducanu. Irina Zabalenka. Alex Di Menor. Yeah, it is by far and away the most used racket on the tour, and it is one of the most popular rackets in the world. It is famous for its crisp feel and its touch, and the biggest difference in the version 9 is that we have got stable feel technology, which is designed to create 10% more stability according to well, exactly 10%, okay, nice. not 11, not 9, 10% no. more stability, especially on off-centre hits. So that's torsional stability, so the racket's not twisting around when you make contact. Apart from that, every other piece of technology is exactly the same as version 8. So they should play pretty similarly? In theory, they should be very, very similar. Yes. Which is, I guess, what we're about to find out, isn't it? Absolutely. We've got two 98, 18, 20 blades. We've got version eight. And we have version nine. They both have Loxalon 4G soft, strung at 50 pounds in them. So we're gonna get on court, we're gonna play, and we're gonna see if there's a difference and which one's better. We've just finished playing with the brand new Blade version 9 up against its predecessor, the version 8. What did you think, Ben? So, I have a little theory on this one. Okay. Bear with me. Because it's such a popular racket, because it's so well known, so renowned, so, so commonly used, Wilson have almost hamstrung themselves a little bit. They can't change the racket too much. So my overall opinion is they are incredibly similar. Yeah, I agree. Like, really, really similar. Yes. There is a difference. Let's, let's get wrong. Like, let's not um, say that there is. There's definitely a difference. Yeah. You can notice the differences, but minimal. Yes. I think it's, if you, it's definitely when you see some, some of our footage of us playing, to be able to feel that difference, we, me and Ben had to have literally both rackets in our hand and playing one, one ball after the other, swapping rackets in between. Yep. They are very, very similar, but there are some differences that we'll get to. I think, so it, when, it, when it was first released, it was talked about being a sharper yes. blade. Now, I, I don't know how Wilson defines sharp. I don't feel like it's sharper per se. It is different. It feels yep. to me more luxurious and definitely with that stable feel more steady. Yes. But I don't know if it feels any crisper. Yeah, I think, those words, crisp, lively, sharp, they're very in, like, very personal, right? Yes. It's the way it feels through your hand. I, was, I think I got a hint of that, mm. but a hint. Yeah. Like it, it's not, it doesn't feel like a different racket. No, exactly. You could, you could very easily, if you painted these both black and you didn't know which one you were using, it would be hard to tell which was which. Very, it? Yeah, very much so. Because of that stable feel, I assume, the feel with the new version 9 is sort of more luxurious, is more yep. plush, it does feel more steady and it does feel better on off-centre contacts. Yep. Not that we get many of them. No, I mean, it's hard for me to know because I always get it right out the middle, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, I think there's, there's definitely a difference in that. And obviously when we go through our, our normal categories, power, spin, uh, control and precision, touch and feel, we'll touch on those a little bit more. But well, overall, both fantastic. Yes. Um, yeah. Both, both fantastic. Yeah, both fantastic, really nice rackets, feel great, just not a huge amount of difference. So on to power. It's gonna be quite quick this, isn't it? Yeah. They're exactly the same. Yeah, I would say, I would say they're the same. Yeah. The, the, there's potentially an argument to say that because this is slightly more stable, you can feel more comfortable throwing it around a little yeah. bit, but I, I personally, I didn't find that. I think in terms of power, you're getting equal out of both. Well, I think, yeah, the, the big thing is, 
it's you might get a different power outcome but not because of the racket because of the way the racket makes you feel yeah like because it feels a bit sharper because it feels a little bit more steady maybe is the word yeah you just feel like you can swing it around a bit more so yeah. you do get a faster ball but it's not the racket necessarily it's sort of a, a yeah. consequence of the yes, racket exactly. rather, yeah uh, and on to spin and i would say Exactly the same. Exactly the same yeah. thing. We're playing with 1820s, mainly because I love the 1820, um, but it's, it's not generating the same match spin as you'd get with the 1619, but no. between the two different frames, I, I, I couldn't tell, there wasn't a discernible difference. No, there's absolutely no reason you'd want, if you wanted more spin, you wouldn't choose one over the other. They, no. they are going to give you about the exactly the same. Exactly. Yeah. Um, on to. Um, control and precision now th this is where you start to get into the feel of oh we get to touch yeah. and feel in a minute but this is where you start to get into how it feels and those and those off center contacts and so i'm inclined to say that the new one at this point starts to yes. separate itself very slightly yes essentially that that technology the stable field technology that wilson have added to the new version does start to add a little bit to, yes. to the frame right you do you do feel a little bit more solid a bit more comfortable and that just allows yeah you'd say precision is the word yeah again that's the outcome you get from the confidence the racket gives you exactly right and i think that you're because it because it is slightly better when you're not on the w um <laughs> it, it you, that controller precision in that regard essentially the bottom end of the controller precision once you if you're middling it out of both fine yeah. but as soon as you're slightly off center you, you retain more control more precision with the new version 9. for touch and feel it's a, it's a similar sort of thing and we are talking marginal differences like yeah. we say we had to play with both rackets in our hand essentially to try and pick them apart but again for the same reasons the touch and feel the new version is slightly better yeah i would say there's so there's something to be said for the way the racket actually feels right yes so we talk when we talk about touch and feel like this it's sort of maneuvering the ball about how the how it how the ball feels almost on contact with yeah it. yeah but the racket does feel different i've already mentioned that it feels more plush more luxurious and that's definitely the case yeah so i think when it comes to this to choosing between the two it is going to be preference if you prefer it more real yes more um textured yeah going in yeah textured the version 8 is one if you want it cleaner yeah version 9 clean dirty yeah <laughs> this is a dirty racket yeah so i think if we sort of go into the into the blade as, as a whole we can kind of get a little bit closer to this so the blade the blade to us does feel luxurious expensive high quality plush comfortable all those fancy words especially when compared to its equivalents from babble out and head the speed and the strike so because it's already at that that end of the range yeah. the differences are going to be harder to find right it compared to the 1820 strike or well yeah compared to the 1820 strike the differences are significant but compared to its old self yes there just hasn't been that much change because there isn't any scope to yes it's like exactly. once you've already pushed the feel to the edge to the boundary of of luxuriousness yes it's quite hard to get further it'd be like trying to pimp a rolls royce exactly like right. it's quite hard to make a rolls royce feel even more luxurious than it already is Overall, to start with, both fantastic rackets. Yes. And I think that you're right in that it's, it's tweaks. It's tweaked on something that is already very good. And I think those tweaks are successful in doing what they wanted to do. Yes. So I think overall, going off what we said with the touch and feel and the precision, because of that stable feel, that extra stability you get, it is a very narrow victory. Yes. For the version nine. Yes. So worth upgrading. So all I've said is yes for the last <laughs> two minutes. Yeah. Worth upgrading. Yeah. Not worth stressing about no. if you can't. No, I think it'll be one of these things. Obviously, this is an old racket now, much harder to get hold of. The chances of finding this new is very, very unlikely. If you have got one of these and you want another one and you can't find it, this is going to be absolutely fine. Absolutely. Like, and it's going to be better. Um, the only the only real difference the significant difference is the looks right yes and w with the looks so i initially did not like the new the new one and i really like that well this is 
very Wilson. This is what always happens with these rackets. Yes, true. When this racket first appeared, everyone went, ooh, not sure. And then after a couple of months, like, oh, actually, that looks really, really smart. Yeah. I think this is going to do exactly the same thing and does make this look kind of dated now. It does. I miss the colour shifting that you get with that. Yeah. Or the, the sort of two-tone. This is thing, a <laughs> really silly. I like how small they've written blade. Yes. That's too big to me on there. Yeah, much better when it's small and I, and I do like I know a lot of people don't we've had a lot of feedback from people in the shop and online and stuff I like the orange and the green oh I don't yeah I do like that well actually take that back I like the green don't like the orange because that's almost a throwback to one, some of the older yes, blades it is yeah the orange it feels like it's muddying this nice Wilson down the side yeah. but it's only looks we've talked yeah. about how it plays and that's what really matters um, obviously we'd love to know what you think uh, let us know if you've played with them, whether you've upgraded, whether you've stuck with your old one, we'd love to know. All comments are always appreciated. Yeah, the other thing before you comment, we imagine that we haven't do it, we're not going to do it with the 1619. We imagine it's going to be very, very similar. We just chose the 1820 for this particular video. Yeah. We presume the 100, the 100 L, all, all of the whole family is going to have a similar thing because the only ch tech change is that stable feel yes. in the pet. As always, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, share it with your friends, share it with your coaches, share it with whoever will listen. Yes, and thank you very much for watching. We really do appreciate it. Um, all the best and good luck choosing your next blade.